Hey guys, this is Racing Games Channel. Welcome to a brand new challenge series. Today we are going to be booting off of our our si booting uh, off. Shut the fuck up. We're booting off the. Uh, that sounds dirty. Booting off is apparently. Is that what protogens do? No. <laughs> anyway, we're on the Scion TC save. We're gonna do Tokyo Challenge with a bit of a twist. We're doing a randomized Tokyo Challenge run. So. How this is gonna work is I'm gonna roll a random number generator. Shut up, Japanese man. And we're going to, when we randomize that number, it's gonna show us what tier of upgrades we get for the car. And then I'm gonna roll another random number generator to tell us what car we're running. There's so, he could end up. He could end up going into a race with a fully upgraded McLaren F1. Or he could end up going into a race with a stock TC. Alright. What's our first set of numbers? So, our first upgrade tier is one. Not bad, actually. It's better than stock. What's our number? 20. Oh, that's actually pretty good. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 350 Z. With level one upgrades. That's not bad. I'm going to have to manually install level ones though because I can't just install level one it it'll auto install the highest tier we're gonna pause and we'll finish it in a sec and we're back you guys can see that everything is level one everything is installed to that so we're gonna start with a 350z So the way this works is we have to do 34 races. So we have, I think, 45 rolls. This could get bad. That is classic, Yankee. How is it classic? It's just a stock 350Z with some tunes. So. Some of the bitches. Are you ready to race? Some of the bitches. It's one of the worst tracks in the game. But whatever. Oh. Sumida Bridges. This track's fucking terrible. Also, my frame rate is dying. Sumida Bridges. You should also note that I. We have. There's a few cards that we don't have. We'll just mulligan if that happens. Because, yeah. you know, there's cars that you have to do the Tokyo Challenge for and for the clubs, and I didn't feel all that tempted to do about five hours of gameplay. Oh my yeah. god. What is this lag? It's because it's Tokyo. It's not very optimized. Wow, okay, hold on. Great fucking start to a run, huh? Immediately. Oh, look at this. Look at that fish tailing. Look, Scion TC. Look what you could. Look what you could have been. Good. Look what you could have been. A car. You know how you make cars good? Just make them rear wheel drive in V6s. V6 doesn't automatically mean it's a bad sports car. It just needs to be rear-wheel drive. I swear to God, GM did not understand this. We got all-wheel drive, we got all-wheel drive, and we got all-wheel drive. And we got front-wheel drive. And we got front-wheel drive with turbo. And then we got front-wheel drive with supercharger. And then we got more front-wheel drive with turbo. And more supercharger. And then more turbo. And then all-wheel drive. And then we got sold out to China. 
and then we steal people's information. Really? Oh yeah, they got. <laughs> they're getting sued as uh, as we speak. This is August twenty second. They are actively being sued for stealing you customer uh, customers' information about their car by uploading it to uh, insurance companies so they can hike up people's insurance rates. How fucked up is that? Fun. So if you drive at night, sorry, your insurance rate's growing up. You're not bad, but uh, we think you're bad. We think you're a shitty driver. Because, you know, you work a third shift. One story How dare you work the night shift? It makes you more dangerous, even though it's literally less people on the road. What I tell you, friend? Ain't oh, shit, the race of. is over. Well, yeah, this is going to be... We're going to be going through numbers time, pretty quick. Time for your next car. Upgrade level is... Two. Okay, level two. Level two what? Everything. I mean level two... What car? Oh! 81. Oh, shit. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 81 out of 94. Thirty-one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty-one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty-one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty-one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, uh, eighty, eighty-one. You said right? Yep. The Jambala Turbo Coupe. I'm gonna upgrade it. Give me one second. My ass forgot there's only one upgrade for cars of this tier. <laughs> Unfortunately, the cool cars are going to be really good for like five seconds, and then the really bad cars are going to be really bad for a long while. Oh, this feels good. She's snappy! She a snappy girl! I'm gonna see if I can try to make a drift tune because I actually need to do it for the speedrun. The any percent that I really don't want to do. It'll help in the future! is bad as I'm literally fishtailing it like a maniac. Go back to the normal tuning for now, because uh, I don't know how to drive it like that. And that's going to require a lot of tweaking. However, I know how to drive that version.
That was clean. How many races are we in so far? Two? Yeah. Alright, cool. We're actually making decent progress. We're ten minutes in. Next numbers. You ready for your next car? Yep. Tier th Okay, so tier three. You mean tier three. Maxed out. Okay, maxed out level, performance. Level three upgrades. 67. That's gonna be B class, probably. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what? I'm gonna pause and we'll get to the car in a second. Okay. And here, boys, is car number sixty-seven, the Hot Match Velux. And you, it's maxed out, so I could just do that. Yep, maxed out upgrades. Let's go. I'm hoping I'm not gonna have to do any grinding, like any money grinding, because some we might get to a point where I have to get a car that's so expensive that I might have to grind for money. Now that's a real bike. Oh, that's a real bike. Don't watch out for them fake bikes. Yeah, exactly. How much would one of these cost? Probably like 80, 90k. This is a fully custom built motorcycle. Okay. These are very fancy schmancy. They're very trash. Anyway. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of choppers in this game. Like, choppers need to be entirely done right or else they're just stiff. It ain't slow. Yeah. Wasn't there a bike that put a big block V8 in it? Yeah. I think it's called the Big Hoss. The Big Hog or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, they put an LS under it. That's fucking cool. It's fucking heavy. But it's cool. <laughs> yeah, but if you tip it, you ain't picking that shit back up. Not, not without help. Ow! Yeah! <laughs> When your car wins oh, without you. I taught you well, friend. Very well. I've been here for five minutes. Ooh. Stock thirty one. Stock car thirty one. Okay. Give me a lot of pausing in this video. Be right back. All right. We got the West Coast Chopper CFL stock. This is not... This This ain't it, bud. This ain't it. <laughs> this, this ain't it. Hey, mister, listen to me for a second. I'm about to hook you up. Dub is running a little private tournament. I'm gonna you hook go you go up, sucker. You gotta be in a class. I love how every single one of these tournaments could just be its own episode challenge video. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Bonk. 
keep picking the fucking circuit races. The best part is you could theoretically save, like, all the, the technical races for the slower cars. True, but they aren't, they're RNG, because of course they are. Fair. You know it's bad, because I only have a 175 Speedo. Still <laughs> way faster than the fucking C TC, though. As you can see, it actually hits those speeds in a reasonable amount of time. Handles pretty well. It's got a lot of grip. Surprisingly large amount of grip. A chopper should not handle this well. I actually don't hate this one. This one's actually pretty good. Yeah. Surprisingly. Even if you are a balding middle-aged man. Well, I'm not gonna upgrade them if we're gonna. If I'm not gonna like modify them if we're only gonna be in them for one race. Yeah, that's fair. So you're gonna see this bald age man a lot. You're a serious racer, SA. Although you might need to go get some hair therapy. You might need to go get some cocaine. Oh, cocaine. Thanks, my sponsor keeps. <laughs> you won't look to this guy today. <laughs> Today's sponsor keeps the the normal organic hair regrowth system. It's way better than looking like this man with a bald patch on your head. Don't be that. Thanks. Thank Don't you be that. this guy. Don't drive a chopper. <laughs> Don't drive a chopper. You'll lose your hair. <laughs> Did you know that choppers are responsible for 70% of hair loss in grown male adults? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the fucking grip this thing has! It's keeping its speed while drifting. That is wild. I don't hate this bike. Surprising. Maybe people sleep on this bike. Maybe this bike is like some secret yeah. end game weapon or some shit. It's not an end game weapon, but hey, for stock, and this is a pretty decent C class car. It ain't meta, because that's what the Supra's for, but hey, not bad at all. Okay, so uh, stock again. Oh, God. 45. Oh. So, this was 31, right? Yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four. The Cadillac XLR. A stock XLR. That's not awful. It could be worse. I'm going to sell these cars. I feel like we're going to run out of money very quickly. I'm keeping the sign on now. <coughs> Should have actually near a mill. Holy shit! Look at this money, bro! The biggest loss I'll take on a car is about 120k if I were to have to deal with one of the, the most expensive cars in the game and then having to resell it. So, this isn't the worst thing that could happen. Oh my lord. How am I this loaded?
All right, back to the XLR. Oh great, it's gonna be in the rain. And the XLR is actually kind of not good. Okay, fishtail at least. No, this car's rough. This, this is one of the worst luxury. This is the worst C-Class luxury car. Depends on exactly what kind of cars we're going to be going up against. Oh, we're good. Not a great sign, though, when D-Class cars fly by you like you're standing still. Oh, alright. Alright, I'm listening. I'm listening. A little bit. Kind of. I think I'm partially deaf. Better engine note than the Scion. Well, yeah, but where the Scion sounded like it was gonna explode, this just sounds like it's bored. Well, it's an XLR. It's, old. it's, it's a Corvette for old people. It's a Corvette with a worse engine for old people. But don't worry, if you bought an XLR, you bought the North Star, but if you bought an XLR V, which didn't cost it, like any much any real difference in price you got the LS which means if you bought the later one you didn't get a piece of shit you bought the early one yeah you did get a piece of shit I love how it shows it goes <laughs> listen to it <laughs> sounds like a grown man who's Reliving the trauma of his ex-wife. I feel like this is a car a boomer would get to deal with having an ex, uh, having a wife. This has the lamest shift. Okay, thanks, thanks. Game. What? You're not That's wrong. Not what I hear. <laughs> Even with nitrous, it doesn't change at all. But like with nitrous, I would have expected it to at least go. <laughs> nope, <laughs> not at all. It just stays down, depressively whining. Are we actually gonna take a loss with the XLR? You fucking better not, that'd be embarrassing. This thing's honestly kind of terrible, so. It's losing to a Phaeton! It almost lost to a fucking Phaeton! <laughs> it's a Bentley! That's a Bentley! All right. So what number was this? 45? Yep. All right. Throw it. Fully upgraded 29. Oh. Go back 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 49 fleet line. Fully upgraded fleet line. This is gonna get spicy. Cause this thing is a fishtail monster. The problem is it's hard to control. It's a lead sled. <laughs> yeah, it can fishtail real good, but you can't really turn it over real good. Can't really turn it. And uh you can't really stop it. It's got more it's got a better speedo than the fucking XLR. And it doesn't sound like a depressed man sighing. 
Really needs three nitrous, dear lord. Oh god! Oh god! Is it a good thing to tell you that I have. Oh god! I have never actually fish shelled this car before. First time for everything. Pretty competent though. Look at it go. I feel like a lot of the fishtailing with this car doesn't have to do with the fact that it has good handling. It's just that it's so fucking heavy. Yeah. The reason I hate this car is the reason why it's so good at fishtailing. It's almost completely uncontrollable. I would have laughed if that didn't count. It almost didn't. Problem is, I have no experience with the Tokyo. I okay, I have a tiny bit of experience because I play online. But other than that, I really don't. I don't go and say, "Man, I like the Tokyo map." Ooh, yeah, no let's go. This thing is kind of fire. Holy shit! It was great until the traffic, until the traffic attacked. How to win with the fleet line. You, 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 you just slam Driving. into every wall. You almost totaled it. I think I just did. We cool now. I'm glad I finished the game because I'm getting shitloads of money that's paying off the bullshit cars. I'm getting 20k per race when each car costs me 40. Get Tier I am. 259. So what was our last number? Oh, I'm gonna be at the. I'm gonna probably be at one anyway. Shit. So you said maxed out tier what? 59. One. All right. It's, it's not max. Well, it's not maxed out. It's tier two. Okay. 59. Be right back. 1970 Pontiac GTO the Judge. With tier 2 upgrades. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're back. You can see everything is level 2. Let's get this show on the road. This is going to get bad, I have a feeling. This car is very hard to control. Hey, you've just fitted your ride with hydraulics. <laughs> <laughs> I just forgot this thing has a 250 speedo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. This thing's quick. This might be the fat. If I make this faster than the 81, that would be really funny because that means I have to now rebuild my speedrun strap for the career 100%. Watch this. Oh, I took the wrong path. God damn it. And yeah, whatever, I can fix it. I can fix it. This is actually pretty controllable in terms of muscle cars. It's not like easy to drive. But it's controllable, which, un 
a majority of muscle cars can't hit that territory. This just feels kind of like a luxury car, which, you know, that's a huge compliment. Fuck you. This thing is fast as fuck. Which is what I'm saying, dude. This thing is amazing. For a B-Class muscle car, this thing fucking slaps and no one drives it. Most people drive the Corvette. Or the Camaro. Dude, this, do you see how easy this thing is to recover from a mid-slide? Almost no muscle cars in this tier can actually do shit like that. That is a genuine, impressive feat. This thing is amazing. You are amazing! Why are you You're so, so bad? bad? <laughs> you had to say it. <laughs> wow, cool! It's fucking flying! Wow, I'm gonna miss this one. That was fun. Okay. <laughs> Maxed out 84. Maxed out 84. So what was our last number? I don't know. You keep. <laughs> God damn it! I don't have the memory. Alright, I'll be right back. Well, our next car is the Dodge Super 8 Hemi. It's such an ugly car. So what tier of upgrades? <sighs> Maxed out. So it's gonna be a fast ugly piece of shit. I thought that was the Scion. No, that thing was never fast, my bad. <laughs> That that was that car was never fast. <laughs> like me, that car was always a disappointment. Kind of want to make a Pontiac for my my Netflix and say now that thing was fire. <laughs> no, seriously, you're you're saying that like you're joking about it. That thing was amazingly controllable. Only if I get to design it. It's my save. Only if I get to design the car. How about you get online then? Maybe I will if you let me design that car. No, you won't. I, I probably won't. <laughs> I I'd get online, play one round with you, get tired of just constantly losing because like, I don't know how to fishtail and shit and then just quit. There's like 20 other people that play the game. You know that, right? Man. This car can fishtail. It's just in stock. It's not... Not, um... It's not even stock, you maxed it out. Well, I mean, well, that's not, with no tune. Uh. The good news is it's a short race. The bad news is I suck. See? I tell you, no problem. 53! Maxed out. So, what was this number again? 45. That was 45, and now we're 53. Maxed out? Yep. Yep. Okay. Um. So, 45, so that'd be it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The Lotus is spree. Maxed out is spree. Sorry. Maxed out E spirit. E -spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm hoping we don't get the CLK, because that's going to be really fucking expensive. I got almost a million dollars, so it's not like I'm going poverty. I'm waiting for, like, the last thing to roll into CLK stock. That's f The CLK stock is just kind of mid. It's not even bad. Any exotic is basically a guaranteed win, because most exotics don't have tuning other than nitrous. Or upgrades other than that. What the fuck? Why does Tokyo always shit the bed, but nowhere else does? <laughs> Didn't even get to drive the car. Baggy sweat pants and the rebuck with the strands. Wait, it's sold? Oh shit. <laughs> What? Oh. What? I bought something. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh no. Jesus, this frame rate's killing me. All right, be right back. And we're back. not great but it's it's playable kind of this is why you don't go to Tokyo boys the frame rates die and no one enjoys it e spirit I haven't drive the esprit in this game in forever it feels great to drive it's just not a fish tailor EA Spirit, it's in the game. That actually worked out better than expected. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I gotta laugh at you. Gotten some good progress, and we're only 40 minutes in. The game hasn't really given us some really horrific uh, buys yet. Yeah, you did it for Speedway. Eighty-one. So, what was our last number? Fifty-three. Got. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, was, it, was 53. it was 53. So now we're going to 81. What's the level yep. upgrades? Level 1 upgrades. Level 1 upgrades. On 80. Alright, we'll pause what? and you'll see, we'll see the car upgraded in a minute. Yeah, this is def uh, yeah, this is a definitely an exotic, guys. Watch out. Uh, but no, and we had to re-roll it a few times because we kept getting cars that were mulligans. So, we're in the... We're running a El Diablo soft tail. Return the chopper. Embrace muscle. That is classic, Yankee. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching my Discord. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> you just come out of the shop and immediately just face plant into a wall. Uh, you know what? Comedy is the. It was okay. It was funny. Okay, God. <laughs> the fact that I was reading something on Discord and then I just eat shit. <laughs> you know, it just perfectly proves everything.
She's she's heavy. Like it's hard to keep this thing under control because you you put the weight in it. Things just... you can say about your bike, but not your woman. Got <laughs> got to throw her around. Whoa, she's heavy. <laughs> Some girls might like that. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going. Congratulations. Either. Well, that didn't just cost you the whole race. I don't think it did. No, I'm gaining on him. Yeah, this is nowhere near as good as the CFL. And the CFL's in the same tier. They're both C class bikes. I'm gaining on him. Just gotta play it smooth. The only downside is because I didn't do the club events, I don't have I don't have roar enabled. Sad. Oh, she's sliding, baby. She's sliding. She's flying. I'm gonna go With this. That much rubber and she's sliding. It's because it weighs so much that anytime you put the power down, it just kind of uh, kicks the back out. Not a bad bike. I'd still You'd take the CFL. The other one. I'd rather have the <laughs> CFL, definitely. Don't be old tough guy on me just because you win a race. I'm tough guy because I'm a man. I'm a bitch. Anyway. Level one upgrades on. Car number 38. We were just on 34, right? I cannot remember. It was 34. I think. One, two, three, four. Oh, thank God! Reroll it! 75. So we're at 34, so I need to go 41. So we'll be back in a second. We got a mulligan. We're in a CTSV. Unfortunately, that means we're in a D-class good uh, car. Fortunately, it means you're in a D-class car. I love that sedan. Same. This is a good car. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I honestly adore the first-gen CTSV. It's a good-looking car. I think we're already in repeating tracks. The good news is level 1 CTSV is what I use for the San Diego percent, so I'm very well familiar with how this car drives. You're extremely familiar with this car in this configuration. The Bandit was built this call, uh, this tier, if you remember that one. Yep. Boing. I'm not struggling too hard with this run so far.
Look at her go. God, I love how this thing drives, man. If the TC drove anywhere like this, that run would have been an episode shorter. Seeing we already have to say goodbye to it. So this was vehicle number 16. Okay, so you're not gonna like what we got here. Doc? Seven. Seven? Seven. <laughs> Lord have mercy on my soul. <laughs> A stock IS? There's not even <laughs> nitrous in this! <laughs> oh. Well, we hit the first roadblock, guys. See you next episode. <laughs> it's still faster than the TC. Fuck no. The last what? thing I'm doing is a fucking unordered in this thing. <laughs> You know Why the worst not? thing is this thing still honestly feels better than the Scion. Look, I'm still honestly accelerating faster to some extent than the Scion. In a stock IS. <laughs> it's got the Supra engine. It must mean it's fast, right? Well, the game is being fucking merciful by giving me some G-Wagons to go up against. I'm surprised we haven't gotten one of those yet. I'm surprised we haven't gotten an SUV or a truck yet. Yeah, look at this thing. It cruises at the same top speed. Why? Seriously, why add a car into a game if you're going to make it that pathetically slow? The only positive is because it's a tuner, I have, I actually have access to, um, to zone. Wow, I might fucking need it. When the AI is driving what? like that, I might fucking Why need it. Why did it put you against a bunch of G-Wagons? Because it's a slower car. This is what the balancing is supposed to do. It doesn't really fishtail, it doesn't have the power to. So we're just gonna go like this. Oh my god! Om nom nom nom! <laughs> Next time eat a salad, fat ass. <laughs> I use SST and it does nothing. This is feeling very familiar. You, 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 you used SST and then he immediately used nitrate. And then it made it look like I did nothing. <laughs> Come on, go! There's no way they can catch you now. They got two bars of. They have four bar. Uh, three bars of. Uh, re, uh, they have three good reasons why they can. <laughs> Depends on how many they're willing to risk. It's 
I gotta, I gotta take the shortcut. Stock Lexus, not bad. I'm surprised. That was a pretty bad roll. We did okay. Actually, that was a really bad roll. Tier 2, number 71. What was the tier? What, wait, what was it again? 71 with tier 2 upgrades. 71 tier 2, nice. I'm going to have this episode going for about an hour, so we got about 9 minutes left. So, the faster card... You know, it's better than the Lexus, but honestly, not by much. Because the standard of this car is so much higher. So seeing it be this disappointing at this tier is honestly very disgraceful. Let's just get this car out of the way. Sponsored by... I may lose this just because I hate the unordered races in general. I, I think they're terrible. And the game just wants to fuck me anyway. Why did I pick this track out of all of them? This is the worst track. And I think it's also the only unordered track as well. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, man, cool. <laughs> yeah, man, cool. So, what was the number for this car? Fro. What was the number we just had? The number that we just used, 71. Mm. What's the next number? So. Okay. A stock 14. Ah, <sighs> uh, Mulligan, thank God. Next number? 59. Okay. Okay. All right. So, for the first time in a very long time, we're taking a cra uh, crown of We're taking a <laughs> we're taking an Apollo SS or a Caprice. Because realistically, it'd be Caprice. Also, for note, there is no upgrades for the performance. So, even if you get a zero, you're actually doing pretty good. We woo, we woo. Did I go in the minute? God damn it. Nobody will race you in a police. <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> I have never seen this this context menu before. That's a that's a first. All right, well the re it, because the, because the people in Tokyo are pussies, we have to use a charger. <laughs>
We're actually making really good progress. How many tournaments we got open? We got five already? That's half. Ugh, stock charger. That's that's rough. That's pretty rough. This is gonna be rough. <laughs> good race to good car to end it on too. Oh, they, they, oh, I lucked out. I lucked out on AI. They gave me a 64 Impala and a 69 Charger, and that's it. Game is being merciful today. That's very unlike Midnight Club. Problem is, this car is not particularly easy to drive, so driving it in Tokyo is not going to be a very fun experience. It's also quiet. This is a very quiet muscle car. Very quiet charger. I always expected them to be louder. I didn't realize we. I didn't realize we got the brand new Hurricane, the brand new uh, electric Daytona. First game to ever have the electric Daytona from, from <laughs> 20 years ago. At least I get fishtail stock. That's a bonus. It is hard to be precise, though. It's so quiet. What the? <laughs> I kind of hate that it's so quiet. What, what is this? The fucking Ego Boost model? It really is an electric car. <laughs> it's, it's maybe it's it's the fake V8 noises. <laughs> it's it like they, they just have a speaker playing V8 noises underneath the car. That's what they did with the Daytona, the new one. I'm waiting for it to just e blast my ears out when it goes to normal volume again. <laughs> yeah, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Really? This is why I hate Tokyo, dude. These maps are terrible. Well, that's the first ever reset. Of course I reset on the freaking charger, man. That checks out. I'll be right back. Alright. Well, the end of the video is going to happen soon, so... I'll be honest, guys. I, I think Tokyo is the worst map in uh, Midnight Club 3. 100%. I think it's actually worse than Atlanta. Because at least Atlanta is unique. Tokyo is just lame. It's a copy from Midnight Club 2, and it's not a good copy because this game... It's not a good copy because not only is the vehicles and shit in this game not as fitting to the map as 2 was, but beyond that, they also changed up the map and removed a lot of the really fun shit about it. Also, I lost to a 64 Impala, Faye. Take that as you will. Haha, I knew it! The 64 Impala is the superior muscle car. I don't know how they're keeping up. I think the rubber band's kind of helping them heavy, because this... I'm not going slow. This thing fishtail's pretty good. Even stock, it's it's doing a pretty good job keeping its momentum going. Wow, thanks, yeah, stock, you're able to fishtail at Scion TC speeds. Exactly. Which means that this is better than a Scion TC, but also, you know, injecting venom into your veins is probably a better experience than owning a Scion TC. Chapter 11 Bankruptcy that. is probably better than owning a, a Scion TC. You can't say that when you just beat a bunch of Zondas and Mercies with it. I think it's a scale <laughs> issue on their part. 
Alright. And with that, that concludes episode one of the Tokyo Randomizer. If you guys like this kind of content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Hell yeah.